Hey, you can feel the moisture. So last time we left off with us driving dirt roads in the dark through Nicaragua. Turns out we made it to our newest friend's house in Esteli. We had missed Thanksgiving dinner, but they did have some cold beers waiting for us. We spent a day relaxing before we tackled more maintenance on Goose. He needed a tie rotation, and it seemed like a good time to put in our new shock bushings. Hopefully these will last a lot longer. What you doing Trying to change uh, some shock bushings and do a tire rotation. Why is the tire so tight, Tim? Because the guys in Oaxaca that put our new tires on used air guns. Stupid. <laughs> Now we get to go see uh, our friends that we are staying with, their cigar factory, which should be really cool. I'm super excited to see it and smell it. Oh, that smells good. We got to learn all about how cigars are made. This is the first step after they receive the leaves, de-veining. Although the leaves have already been dried upon arrival, they dry them a little bit more here. After that, the leaves are categorized according to size and color. Next, the cigars are rolled. And put into molds. These molds are then pressed the airflow is tested Next, what they call the wrapper is put on the outside. It is amazing to watch how quickly they can do such intricate work. Along with some artistic touches that are unique to this brand. After all that, into the humidor to age they go. 
This humidor was intense. I could not believe how the smell of the tobacco stung your lungs and nose. The air was literally thick with scent. It had such an instant physical reaction. I have never felt anything like it. Lastly, the label is added and they are ready to be distributed. countryside this afternoon. Uh, so we're taking a little dirt road, just, I don't know, meandering through random random areas, and then... Um, we're heading to the mountains, so yeah. we're heading up in elevation, we're passing a bunch of little fincas. We passed, at, in the city, it was all tobacco farms, and then the giant barns where they dry the tobacco, yeah. and now we're heading up into the mountains, and it's just, it's really pretty. Yeah, it's a beautiful day, it's a little overcast, so it's nice and cool, and it's really just beautiful out here, so it's nice. Yeah. This is Selva Negra. It is a historic coffee farm founded in 1891 by German immigrants. This was the first coffee planted in the region, in fact. They were on their way to the gold rush in California, and at the time, it was believed this was the easiest way to get to California from Europe. In fact, the U.S. almost built a canal here, but decided on taking over the attempted French Canal in Panama instead. Since 1976, it has been made into a little restaurant and hotel. You can still see some of the old coffee equipment. Pretty neat. head back to our friend's house in Esteli, and the next morning we were able to get Goose fixed up a little. These guys were awesome, and within 10 minutes they had jury-rigged his fender flare back on. Yeah, 
Plus, check out this weird little Mitsubishi Jeep that was sitting nearby. What a cute little winch. Join us next time as we dig deeper into beautiful Nicaragua. Thanks, it's cool. <laughs> I'm kind of a tank top guy now, but I can do that, but that's how I live my life. Just tank top guys, I go to tank top guy meetings. Can you get a barbed wire tattoo around now? Right in. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right. Um. A lot of uhs and ums. Bleh, 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 bleh.